got to say, I've been following Todd Waters' career for about 15 years now. As a, as a young tie coming into the sport, you know, winning it uh, up there at uh, Mackay, you know, and watched him right through his whole career, and it's been fascinating. But I can't say, you know, and it was obviously great to see him finally clinch what had been overdue for so long, the 2019, you know, 450 motocross title. Um, awesome to see him do that. But I've got to say, probably the most interesting time, I think, in Todd's career for me is his decision, you know, since the 2020 season to move into the off-road. Sort of chance his hand, double duties, you know, which is a really big call for a, for a guy of his elite level to do. And I guess, you know, uh, part and parcel of that was his move to Max's tyres. Um, and I know we've had a chat over a couple of beers. It's a pretty funny, funny story. So, but we thought we'd have a bit of a chat today because I think it's a really cool thing that you know not many people get the opportunity with some of these big tyre brands to actually develop a specific tyre for Australian, for Australian conditions. And you know, and Todd's been involved with um, you know Maxis' new IH um, intermediate hard drain in an 18 inch rear 12090. So. Todd, first of all, mate, I mean, is there a signature on the side of that thing? <laughs> Pretty special. <laughs> it is, it's very special, Andy. And as you mentioned, I've, uh, I've been around a little bit. I've rode for many factory teams here in Australia and overseas in the World Championship. And uh, I've done a lot of testing. As a, as a young kid, I've learned a lot of things over the years. Um, and I've done a lot of tyre tests, but never have I ever had the opportunity to actually develop a tyre. When I say tyre tests, it's uh, 120 against a 110 rear and a 90 versus an 80, yeah. you know, and hard pack versus soft terrain. So this was a really, really good opportunity for me and it, and it come about... Um, I was going to say, how did the opportunity come up? Because they generally don't, right? And Australia's not the biggest market in the world. Yeah. I remember you told a bit of a story about a couple of guys, uh, a couple of Maxis guys down from Taiwan and... Uh, walking around a motocross track and you ran into him. It literally happened like yeah. that, right? So we're actually at one of the MX Nationals and uh, and Jason from A1, he brought over the guys and uh, I got the chance to meet him. And, and I I have a lot to do with A1 accessories through MotorX and uh, and Jason, you know, he said, would you be interested in testing some tires? So I was like, yeah, for sure. I'll do whatever you want, Jason. Like, I'm, I'm there for you. So we went out to the track and, and as I mentioned, I've rode with a lot of tires and I've got my tires that I like and, and we went out and and Maxxis is a massive brand in the mountain bike scene, you know, but in the moto scene, they come standard on, on our range of bikes, but, you know, it's not a well-known brand at the elite level. So, in the past, they're old generation tires. Well, it's well-known, but not compared to the majors, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, we follow the Americans a lot, and you've got some big brands that guys like to try and to follow, and that's marketing, I guess. But for me, Long story short, I jumped on the on the tire. I rode with mine first, my current setup, and then I jumped on the tire and I was like, oh, okay, so I can I can actually feel the knob roll and this and that. And I gave my feedback, and um, I wasn't too surprised, you know, at the old generation tire. And and then they said, well, this is what Jeremy McGrath's using because Jeremy's developed them over in America, and it's got a different a different carcass in it, 30% softer, um, blah, blah, blah. So I went, yeah, chuck it on. I went out and rode with this tire. And but I went, without many expectations, right? You're almost expecting like, I'll do you a favor. Exactly, and yeah. I, I went yeah. out and I was like, hang on a second. I need you to put my tires back on. So I went back out and then put these back on and I went, Jesus, they're, they're really, really good. And, and I learned something. you were running Pirellis at the time? You yeah. Yep. Yep. yep, so I really learned something about what was happening that I found was the carcass was too stiff and the first thing I noticed with the Maxxis tyres, they use really good rubber. Like you turn the knobs and it's like factory tyres, but you buy them at the shop. So I was really excited about the rubber compound. But then when I learnt about the carcass, when we go 30% softer, then it worked together. And I just went, wow, this is actually really good, if not better. And they went, oh, that's no dramas at all, Todd. If you want to apply that to the hard pack spec tyre, because I said similar feeling with that, we'll go back and make it and send it over for you. And that's where the sort of process hey you're gonna we're gonna work together and develop this thing that's how that all kind of began. I couldn't I couldn't believe it like that was the first thing where I just went oh my god I've got a big brand that won a presence here in Australia and they want to develop for our our conditions because our conditions are a lot different to America and Europe so yeah. I was really excited about that partnership and being a part of developing a tire instead of just testing sizes and, and compounds so along the way we've learned a lot so I guess, how did that testing process um, or development process of the tyre, obviously started with the carcass and you suddenly going light bulb moment shit, but that was just the start of a number of features that you changed on the thing. And then, from, you know, that was more of a motocross tyre to start with, but how did that sort of like morph into developing the, you know, the off-road tyre? Yeah, so the off-road tyre for me was, um, I got sent, 
I'll show you a bit of an example. So straight up here, I got sent the IT, the Maxxis IT. Which is super popular, a bit of a cult tie, right? It is a cult yeah, tie, and, yeah, and yeah. they kind of sent me this, and I was like, oh, the tread pattern looks a bit like a trials tire, a lot of rubber. It kind of wasn't that appealing to me coming from a motocross background. I put the tire on, and the knobs are so soft. So as you guys can see here, like when I, when I squeeze it together, the carcass is like, everything just is so flexy. And I really felt the tire just flatten out and drive like hell. On, at QMP, I'd be riding rocky shaley uphills and the thing's just wheeling. And I actually did a race here at uh, Conondale and on the hard packed grass, it just ate it up. I was just super impressed with this tire. I loved it. I didn't want to ride anything else. So more about the feel of the look. Maybe you're a bit of a fashion victim, mate. Didn't really yes. have the right knob pattern, right? That's and exactly let's be honest, right. a lot of guys are like that. They look at the tire and the knob pattern is kind of something that dictates a purchase. It's massive. So that was our key feature was, okay, we need a tire that, that looks sexy. You know, mm. we want a hard packed tire that looks nice. It's got good spacing. So it works well on all terrain. So we've got nice rubber on the hard pack surfaces. But when we go to softer surfaces in creek beds and it gets loamy, we need it to clear. And that's what this tire, we could improve on this one. Yeah. So we started, we had a really nice tread pattern, but what the problem was, was the carcass was too stiff. So it acted like a really, like it was really curved at the top. It wasn't flattening out like this tire. So this is what I based it off, which was really cool for me, myself and Jason on, on calls video calls doing exactly this. I'm there holding the tire up, look at the movement that the carcass has. I want that in our new hard pack tire. In the meantime, H. collectively, you're feeding that back to Taiwan. And, yeah. yeah, so it was Taiwan, it was the head guys there. Right. And we're on a, on a Zoom meeting and I'm standing there going, see guys, like <laughs> this is what we want, tire to flatten out, okay. So they sent three samples over, A, B and C. And I rode with those and it, exactly like I said, it felt like, I had 30 PSI in the tire, it felt really tall, like it would, you know, wanted to slide out, wasn't flattening out like I wanted with this tire. We went back, we gave the data, I showed them what I wanted, so then they made another three tire samples, and we tested it and we got, we achieved that. So what we did is pretty much we achieved a carcass, it's not as soft as this one, it's soft, uh, it flexes, it flattens out, which drives extremely well on the hard stuff, and then we've got a nice tread pattern that clears dirt, for an example, I just raced the four day and it, it was wet. We had all conditions except sand. And um, I run that tire over the whole four days. And the last last day we won class, yeah. uh, second last day we won class, and last out, day we won, won out, outright. outright. Yeah, and so, finished fourth outright overall, second in class, which was your first four day. Yeah, you? and that yeah. was testing the new generation MXIH 18 inch tire. Yeah. So we've got a sexy tire, it works for me. And the impressive thing for me is, like other brands, factory riders like myself get a factory tire you know so they go yeah use these tires but you can't actually buy them mm. so whereas what we've got here is I'm developing tires I'm racing with them and I'm getting results where we've got our own side marking on it to say that it's yeah. an Australian it's got like an A yeah and as I understand it at the moment anyway only available in Australia to buy yeah, yeah that's right which is a cool thing it's it's really really cool so I'm my partnership with Maxxis, I'm really proud and I'm passionate about Maxxis tyres. We're getting results with them and the thing, the thing with tyre selection is right now we've got a tyre that anyone can ride with, I'm racing with, but it's, it's durable. Mm. It lasts the time because it's a tyre made for hard pack surfaces. So, yeah. you know, that's what I've really learnt throughout this tyre testing and developing process. Mate, we talked a little bit before about, you know, people are always concerned you can create performance in a tyre, but you, you know, at the expense of, of durability, right? It's a trade-off, and we all yeah. kind of know that. But it was interesting, we were talking about it earlier, and you are saying a lot of times because basically some of the manufacturers maybe don't have, they're using a soft tyre on hard terrain. If you're using a soft tyre on hard terrain, it's because your hard terrain tyre's not yeah. right, right, right? That's right. Yeah. And that's what I've found. I've always run soft tyres, even when it gets hard, because when we test, I just can't get them to match up. And that's what's been really cool with this development process is I've actually gone, well, yeah, the hard pack tire isn't matching up or the mid tire, but why? And we've found that the carcass isn't moving enough, letting it flatten out. And we, we do this and we've achieved a tire range where I go to a race and I'm like, geez, it's starting to bake off. Let's put the mid tire on. Yeah. Or when I'm practicing during the week, let's put the hard pack tire on because it is better. This tire's for me off road. We didn't have something in the market there and I'm excited for it. I don't think you showed us the, uh, the new sexy pattern that you're talking about. Yes. Huh? So, so right again, here, We've got a nice, 
So as you can see straight away, we've got a nice tread pattern on here. It looks like it's gonna bite in. Nice tall tread pattern, but we've got a lot of rubber on here. You can see on the side knobs, there's a lot of rubber that's gonna be driving on the ground. So when you're trying to get up those rocky scalar hills. But then when we go down the creek bank, we've got a nice spacing in here as well, opposed to the IT tire, where they're quite close together. So that's what I noticed with this tire. We achieved the uphill rocky sections, the hard pack turns, acceleration. We achieved that with this tire on par, but then when we go down in the creeks and it goes a bit sandier and a bit loamier or, or moister, um, it was able to clear better and I drove through there and it was more consistent tire overall. Yeah. And then we pop out on the road and we ride home or go fill our bike up on our registered bike. That maybe something we haven't mentioned yet, right? Uh, DOT, F Road Legal. Yep, so yeah. that's that was a massive one for us is to be able to achieve that yeah. because that's what everyone needs. And obviously available in, a, in or has been in a 19 and now an 18, you know, and that's the Aussie yeah. specific one. Yeah, so, and we've we've made a nice 120 wide tyre. Yep. So that's uh, that's always appealing to people and, and for hard pack, you want as much rubber as you can. A cool process, cool to be involved with these guys, you know, yeah. cool to put your, your name to it effectively. Yeah. Um, where do you go from here? Is it, is it sort of lit the, lit the fire for you to want to do more development and work with these guys more? Yeah, definitely. And that's, um, for me, like we've moved, transitioned over to the off-road scene and we're, we're going with the, the different size 18 inch wheels and, and different patterns and stuff like that. So for me, you know, I bleed Maxis. Like it's uh, it's something that I'm passionate about, I'm involved in. We've got a good future with those guys here in Australia. Um, but most importantly, you guys are buying what I'm racing with. There's no factory or anything like this. I'm actually developing tires mm. that best perform for me that you can buy. And the Husky Mini range, I think, comes out, the entire Gasser range, is it? And yeah. then uh, I think EXE's minis, I want to say, with KDM, all come out with, with, yep. with Maxis. So there's a there's a collab there already, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it only makes sense to continue that range. Um, so yeah, it's exciting times for Maxis and and I'm, I'm just stoked to have the opportunity to be able to be involved and, and actually progress and learn as a test rider myself. Like I've learned a bunch through this and, and it helps with my racing. Well, I think the A1 boys said they were going to uh, flick us a couple of the, uh, these new IHs for uh, some project bikes, mate. So I'll be happy to give uh, you a bit of punter feedback, yeah, mate, down be the perfect. track. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really interesting, mate. So, um, well done. Cool thing. And, uh, you know, I think uh, hopefully it sounds like the, it's been a really good collaboration with you guys and it's, uh, you know, set for big things in the future, huh? Hey? Yeah, really, really big things here in Australia. And I'm excited, like I said, the mountain bike scene, Maxis is massive and, and they're coming in and they're, they're pushing hard. It's, uh, it's exciting and I'm looking forward to being with them and being part of the process of building it here in Australia. And um, this tyre here, you know, you can only buy it in Australia. That's pretty special. So uh, I'm looking forward to the future with them guys.